Secret Chef journey started like most people on the road. I went to a show, and then I hosted a show. And for the next six, 10 years, Kristen would drive 108 miles from Thornton to Conifer to host shows for me. Always two a year when the new catalog came out, and always $1,000 shows. And every time, she would ask, do you want to join my team? And I would always say no. I was a corporate controller making six figures and thought I had all the pampered chef I needed. Now we come to 2011 and I was laid off not once, but twice. Hiring accountants in the fourth quarter wasn't going to happen. So I panicked and wondered what I was going to do to get through the holidays. Going from six figures to $500 a week on unemployment wasn't going to work. As the primary vendor, I was in a panic. So in tears, I called Kristen and told her to sign me up. I knew Pampered Chef, I had almost everything in the catalog. All my friends knew I loved to entertain, so it seemed like a good fit. I figured at worst case, I could use the starter kit for Christmas gifts. I think Kristen was as shocked as I was. As friends offered financial help, I told them no. I didn't want charity, so I asked them to place a pamper Jeff order. Also, moving from being an accountant, tucked into an office to standing up in front of a group of people presented a challenge. You see, I was so shy, I didn't even hire a photographer at my own wedding. I quickly adapted my shows to a combination of regular shows, power cooking shows, and interactive demos, and tried to create a more casual environment where the product sold itself. I don't know if it was friends helping or fall holiday sales, but I had $10,000 in my first 90 days. Wow. Kristen kept saying I was doing amazing, and I kept thinking, I know she tells everybody that. <laughs> I was so busy, I kept asking Kristen to come up and just help me organize. I was getting overwhelmed, working temp jobs, going to interviews, updating resumes, and trying to read everything I could on Cambridge Chef, along with the normal craziness of the holidays and 12 out-of-state relatives coming for a two-week Colorado Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> January came and I was still working a temp job, juggling Cambridge Chef interviews and job applications. While at work one day, I had my Pampered Chef planner out, and a coworker thought it was a catalog. I explained it was my planner, and I was doing Pampered Chef to help with the bills. She asked for a catalog. I was a little worried about giving her one, because we had a strict no solicitation rule, and I was a temp. A few days later, she asked me how to become a consultant. I laughed, and I said, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> about how to sign a consultant. From there, I began to have more accidental recruits. <laughs> Karen from the post office who asked me what I was mailing, post packets, a high school friend who I had not talked to in 20 years who was venting on Facebook about being unemployed, guests at shows, and then Don who said never and a week later was laid off. By telling everyone what a great opportunity Pam for Jeff was, recruiting was easier than expected. Before I knew it, I had six active recruits, 5,000 in sales, and promoted to director in May. Yeah. Kristen still kept telling me I was doing amazing, and I still kept laughing and telling her I was sure that she told everybody that. <laughs> then, in June, I was practicing for bike to work day and had a bike accident that knocked me out and landed me in the hospital. My face was black and blue, had a broken wrist, a sprained ankle, and a severe brain bleed. I remember my first words at the hospital, someone needs to call Kristen. I need to get her barbecue pizza pan to her. <laughs> I had borrowed it and she needed it for a show that night. <laughs> looked at me and said, you're lucky to be alive, and you're worried about pampered chef? <laughs> but he didn't get the pan to her. <laughs> the day after I left the hospital, I somehow convinced Kristen to drive me to a show. I wasn't able to drive, and I didn't want to miss hosting a show in my local community. To be honest, 
I don't remember the show. <laughs> we think I was still drugged for the hospital stay. <laughs> but we did have a $500 show, two bookings, and a recruit. <laughs> Even with a broken wrist, not being able to drive, I kept my June schedule. Everybody pitched in to help. I wasn't being a martyr. You see, I had to be paid as a director for June, July, and August to earn the taste of the travel award for New Director Academy. I didn't make director in August due to a second emergency surgery, which landed me back in the hospital for three days. But I will figure out how to get to New Director Academy in October. <laughs> As of now, I've been doing Pampered Chef for 11 months. I've earned the Nashville trip, and I'm working towards Vegas. Without, thank you. Without Pampered Chef, there would have been a vacation. I have 14 people on my team. More Pampered Chef product than I know what to do with. Made some amazing friends, and earned over $10,000 doing something I love. Not too bad for nights and weekends while working full time. I still panic at public speaking and, quote, doing sales, but Kristen keeps pushing me to do more. She gets excited when I get asked to speak at recruiting events and other Pampered Chef functions. I always say no and somehow end up here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep working my business. The goal is to make it a full-time job that will support my family. My more is more time with my family and friends, more flexibility in my schedule, and more ability to control my future. Pampered Chef is giving me my confidence back after being laid off, and I know there are, many, there are many more great things to come as I grow my business. Kristen, I'm so glad you asked me to be on your team. Yes, it took 10 years. <laughs> Hope it was worth the wait. You can keep telling me I'm doing amazing, and I just might believe you someday. <laughs> I know, I had to Dumb. let something go and I didn't want it to be the phone. Is that Kristen? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> what a jewel you are. And you just, again, never know, right? Who really needs this incredible opportunity? And again, how it has changed your life. I'm just so thrilled that you were part of this incredible family. You have made such a difference in our lives. Congratulations. You did a wonderful job here, I tell you. in so many incredible ways. So Thank we're glad you. you're here. Thank Let's you. give her another big round of applause, shall we?